Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. I am Akshay Pramar, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology in IT SL Department. Welcome back to the video tutorial series of the Internet of Things. Right? In our previous session, we have talked much about the cloud for the data storage and the analyzing pro analysis process. Right? But you have one question arise. Sir, how can we select that particular cloud and how can we select that particular cloud service provider? Right? So yes. The today's session is here for satisfy your that answer, right? So in this session, we are going to discuss about how to select that cloud service provider and what are the things that we need to keep in mind while selecting that cloud service provider, right? So for that, we have a several criteria for selecting a particular cloud service provider, right? So let's begin with that, right? So selection of the cloud service provider, first of all, there are many parameters to select a cloud service providers from the numerous service providers, right? So yes, you are all, are all aware about that. So there are the number of the companies which is offering that uh, offering us and cloud services, right? So from that, which company is best suitable for as per our requirement, right? So that we need to buy forget, right? So that we need to distinguish and we need to select that company only right so it is advisable to consider the following parameters while selecting the cloud service provider right so there are the so many parameters by which you can choose that cloud service provider among all the first one is a certification and the standard compliance right after that the financial health of the service provider right so what is the financial health of that particular cloud service provider right so we need to keep in mind that too after that the business and the technology strength right so what is this business and the technology strength for that particular cloud service provider we need to keep in mind that too after that the compliance audit service level agreement reporting and the tracking costing and the billing maintenance money maintenance the maintenance, monitoring and the upgrade, upgradation, support and the health, security. All are the major following parameters by which you can choose that cloud service provider as per your requirement, right? So let's see each of the parameter one by one and let's see what this particular parameter means and how we can use that parameter to choose our cloud service provider, right? So let's begin with a certification and the standard compliance, right? So when a product follows the standard, right so that are acceptable widely it is considered as a reliable product right so what do you mean by the reliable product right so when that particular product is following some kind of standards and that is acceptable widely right so then we can say that that product is a reliable product right so the cloud service provider are expected to comply with these standards right because the product with the standards are accepted widely and it is considered as a reliable product, right? So for that product reliability, the cloud service provider must need to follow some standards, right? Industry accepted standards are the first criteria for selecting a cloud service provider, right? If your cloud service provider is following some standards, then it is acceptable widely, right? So then after you can choose that particular cloud service provider. Though there are many standards frame and be followed by the industry. Though there are many standards frame and followed by the industry. Some of the main standards for the clouds are ISO, OCC, IEEE, SNIA, Cloud Storage Initiative and all are the very famous standards for cloud, right? So we can select that particular cloud service provider which are following some standards, right? And which are widely acceptable, right? So with the help of that, we can uh, ensure that this product and this particular cloud service provider will uh, provide us a reliable service, right? So that's about a certification in the standard. After that, the financial health of the service provider, right? So in this particular era, in this particular pandemic, right? So you have observed that in this particular corona pandemic, right? So lot many companies are survived in the industry, right? So the service provider should hold and sufficient funding to operate business for long period, right? So whenever you are choosing any service provider, it should have a sufficient funding to operate a business for a long period, right? If uh, that service provider has a healthy financial status and history of the sustenance, then it is most unlikely to be shut down, right? So when 
when a particular service provider is having an efficient funding right so then it will be sustained in the market for the long period right and the shutdowning of that particular company is really or uh, less right so with the help of that we can choose that particular service provider right which will ruling in the market or which will be staying in the market for the long period right after that the third criteria is in business and the technology strand right so what do you mean by that business and the technology strand right so having an technology uh, having a technical expertise to sustain and adapt to the client requirement is a key factor in selecting a cloud service provider right so what is the key factor for selecting a cloud cloud service provider having the technical expertise to sustain and adapt to the client's requirement right so with the help of that we can get to know that the client's requirement right so having just a technical skill and the strength doesn't help the cloud service provider needs it needs and business skill as well as to sustains right so business skills include that growth planning the financial planning and other factors that are required to sustain into the market right so for the sustain in the market for the long period we need and business so business planning right so growth planning and the financial planning kind of thing right so with the help of that that company will be survive into the market for the long period of the time right so that company have a business and a technology strength for that right after that the fourth criteria is a compliance audit right so the cloud service provider must validate the compliance with the client's requirement right which should be done through the proper third party audit right whenever the cloud service provider want to validate the compliance with the client's requirement then it should be how you can ensure that with the third party audit the proper third party audit will ensure that the client's requirement is fulfilled there right so this will enable the transparency and the perfect validation right so the compliance audit is must needed there after that the fifth criteria is a service level agreement right so the service level agreement the sls provides a detailed information about an which kind of service which will be being provided by the particular cloud service provider right so all the information is listed into the sla the service level agreement the sla also indicates the real value that customer gets out of them right and sla serves an legal contract right so the sla serves an legal contract defined the terms and condition and the relationship between the two parties right all the details are mentioned into the service level agreement right after that the sixth criteria is in reporting and the tracking the service provider should be capable for issuing that complete performance report which is also highlights the problem right this will enables the customer to understand the complete situation right so the reporting and the tracking is in most needed there after that the seventh criteria is in costing and the billing right so the costing and the billing should be transparent and should provide in complete detail of the usage right so the detail of the each and every, each and every small usage is really transparent by whenever the particular cloud service provider is maintaining its log right and with the help of that that billing and the costing will be really transparent right it is expected to automate with the detail of the complete resource utilization right so that is the thing which is maintained by the cloud service provider and it should be it, it should be having a clarity along with a break up right this means that the billing should be transparent and for the usage only this is the major factor for selecting a cloud service provider right if your cloud service provider is giving and you are transparent system right so well the costing and the billing is done with respect to with regards to your usage only right so that is user friendly right so you, at that time you don't need to pay more if you have, you haven't used their, their resources right so whatever the resources you have used you need to uh, charge for that only right so that is done by the cloud service provider right the eighth criteria is in maintenance monitoring and upgradation right it should be easy and less expensive to migrate to the cloud service providers environment right so when there is an upgrade it should be done with as as any maintenance should be easy and affordable right in short it should be easier to install manage 
maintain and upgrade right so whenever you can easily install manage maintain and upgrade your system right so it is really user friendly right and you can attract your customer more this upgrade it this upgrade includes a migration from the private to public cloud or to the hybrid cloud right if you if there is a need right so the if you upgrade is needed and transfer and so transfer your data from one destination to another destination it should be easy the nine criteria that we need to follow is the support right so it is help and assistance should be provided when it is required right support should be available based on the agreement and the dedicated resources the support level based on the complexity of the problem and on site support may be needed when the clarification cannot be offered over the phone or online right so if you cannot understand its solution whenever you are calling that was customer calling office or they are sharing their in and they are giving them advice how you how you can solve that particular problem online right if the customer is unable to solve that problem right so then that on site support system is needed right thus the support is major deciding factor for selecting the service provider right the ninth criteria is in security right the infrastructure the both hardware as well as the software should be secure if the uh, the infrastructure the both hardware and the software should be secure right if your infrastructure is not secure then your data can be compromised right and that can be lead to the huge market loss there should be defined policy about the security that should also be shared with the customer this includes everything from access restriction to the customer data the data should be safe in case of breakdown or the failure right when you are in the downtime that data of the customer must need to be secure at that time right then if there, there is a breakdown right the recovery and the backup option should be sound good right the physical infrastructure has to be safeguard as well right and all these factors would require an audit which should be carried out by the third party only right and security is a prime concern about and uh, the security is a prime concern and that cannot be ignored while selecting the cloud service provider right so that are the basic criteria or we can say that the parameter which we will keep in mind to select a cloud service provider right so whenever you are selecting to migrate or you are selecting to store your data or process your data onto the cloud or you want to migrate your data from the local system to the cloud or you want to migrate your data from the private cloud to the public cloud or hybrid cloud so at that time how you can select that particular service provider with the help of these parameters you can select then particular cloud service provider right so that particular criteria you need to keep in mind while you are selecting that cloud service provider if you want to migrate your or local processing device to the cloud right so that's all about today's session thank you for the watching